Hey again. Um, I'd like to talk with you today about another book that I found really helpful. Uh, this is this is a book called um, The Vegetable Gardener's Handbook, and it is by Hugh Richards, who is a gardener in Wales and has a very, very active YouTube um, channel as well. He's been gardening pretty much his entire life. He's a younger guy and he is just full of ideas and I have learned so much from him. So I was eager to get his book when it came out um, and finally got a chance to really go, go through it very, very thoroughly this winter during the off season. It is a visually stunning book, which reminds me of his garden. His gardens are spectacular. Um, and that is one of the things I love about his YouTube channel. The book is so well organized, um, sort of like Hugh himself, who is super well organized and methodical, very, very logical, but also really practical. Um, and that is something that I appreciate in his gardening style and also in this book. This book came out in 2022. It's published by DK Publishing um, in the UK, but it's, I think it's widely available here as well. So you're going to find the normal gardening book things in this book, like how to grow specific crop families and pest management and um, the things like that, typical things. But you'll also find some things that are not so typical. And that is, is one of the big pluses of this particular book. In addition to it being visually stunning and just wonderful to look at, um, it's highly readable. Um, it is organized and it is it emphasizes um, certain principles. One of the things that he does in the early chapter of his book is really explain permaculture principles. And he does it in a way that is not at all preachy because sometimes permaculture can sound like, you know, can get really dogmatic and it sounds very complicated, but he puts it in terms that regular people like you and I can understand and um, relate to and in a workable way and how you can incorporate some of these principles into your garden and into your lawn planning. I really appreciate that practicality and the down to earth way that he's able to break down permaculture um, and make it much more accessible to people. The other thing that I really liked in his book as well as in his gardening style is the emphasis on polyculture. I think that Hugh Richards was really the first person that, uh, that really convinced me and persuaded me to plant flowers in my garden, to interplant, do a lot of interplanting, to plant many, many different varieties within the same space. And I think that that's been, first of all, it's been very, it's a, it, it creates a very visually rich and stunning um, garden, but it's also really practical. And in this book, he talks about why that works and why it's so essential, particularly incorporating flowers into all parts of your vegetable garden. Some of the things that are not so typical that are in this book that um, really makes it worth picking up and reading are some of the um, techniques that he picked up from Korean natural, um, Korean natural farming or Korean natural farming techniques. I think it's called Jadam. Um, I don't know all of that much about it, except what I've learned through Hugh on his YouTube channel and also in this book, which really was very specific on some things. One of the things that he introduced is, is how to use natural feeds, uh, liquid feeds for both soil health as well as plant health and pest prevention. Um, and he has several different examples and methods that he takes you through step by step to really teach you how to do it. I have not yet incorporated those techniques into my garden because I really didn't fully get them and I got started on them a little late last year. So this year I am going to test some of those techniques in my garden and see how it works. Um, what are some examples? Well, I already use eggshells in my garden, but he has a formula to actually use vinegar and that really breaks down and then extracts the calcium and makes it much more readily available to plants and when used as a foliar feed um, and, and to feed the soil as well. So that was, um, that's something that I'm definitely going to do this year because I have a lot of eggshells that I've been saving. Another thing um, that he does is he makes foliar feeds from um, plant materials, particularly comfrey and nettles. Now, I don't have a source of nettles in my Virginia space. Um, I used to run into them all the time when I, <laughs> I lived in Ireland, uh, and nettles were something I would avoid because they were prickly. However, I did plant comfrey, and I'm planning on using that to make some of these foliar feeds. I understand that they are a bit stinky, so I've got to figure out how to deal with 
the stinkiness. Another thing that he did, which is really interesting and explains, is how to make a lab, which I'm not going to even begin to try to not pronounce, but it is basically a foliar feed that is made from um, milk and rice. And you go through a process with it and it takes a while to, to create, but it actually stays stable for a very long time. And you can use it as a foliar feed for multiple uses. One, it's a soil improver. Um, two, it can boost in your compost rate of acceleration. So it's a compost accelerator. It can um, boost plant health, um, particularly in boosting beneficial bacteria that's in the, in the soil. Um, you can use it as a foliar spray for the development and prevention for root development and for the prevention of things like powdery mildew, which is definitely a problem in my area where it gets very humid in the summer. Um, and, and you're always dealing with moisture in the air and powdery mildew always creeps in no matter what you do. So I, I'm interested in trying lab um, as well. So it's a book that um, I would totally recommend. It's just such a pretty book, if nothing else, on your bookshelf. You know, look at who doesn't love these pictures? Aren't they just, his garden is gorgeous. Um, but the book is just, you know, super, 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 super organized. He loves to do these little diagrams. I think he's very much of a visual thinker. And so the book is really great for people who are visual thinkers like that. Um, so I would... I love this book. I would recommend it. And um, maybe you'll pick it up from your library or order it from your local bookstore. So thank you so much for watching again. Please take care. Bye-bye.